All right, good day, mate. We're gonna be going on now to example number three. We're gonna be combining like terms, meaning that we're gonna take those things that are in common and we're gonna combine them together. We're gonna um, add them, subtract, or we're gonna either add them together and kind of make them a little smaller here. Okay, so let's do a few examples. All right, so we have a 2z to the power 4 plus 3x to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 minus 9x to the power to 4. So which ones can we combine together? Okay, so when we are combining like terms, like terms, there are two things that you must consider. One, they have to have the same base. Okay, uh, base means, look at z, x, z, x. It's the, the variable in there, okay? The same base. Uh, but then secondly, they have to have the uh, same exponents or the little small number, right? So they have to have the same base and also the same um, exponent, or the, the, the little number right there. That's called like our, our power. You can call it an exponent, you know, something like that. So when we think about this here, and again, we don't care about the, the coefficient because that's what's going to tell us um, how many of those we have. So if you think about it, we have 2z to the power 4. Well, that's not z to the power 4. That is z to the power 4. So since both of those have the same base, right? They both have z. And they have the same exponent, 4 and 4. That means we can combine like terms. So if I combine both of those together, I have two of these and I have one of these. So two plus one is I have three z to, to the power of fours. Notice what I did, okay? I add the coefficients together, the number in front of the variable, the two and the one, but notice that I leave the z and I leave the same exponent, okay? A common error is students will, will want to add the four and the four. But we don't need to do that, right? Because this number tells us how many of how many z to the power fours I have. I have two z to the power four. How many z to the power four I have right here? I have one. Oh, so I have a total of two and one. I have three z to the power four. Okay. And then right here I have three x to the power fours, and I have here I have uh, negative nine x to the power four. So since they have the same base and the same exponent. I can combine those together too. So 3 minus 9 is a negative 6. I have negative 6 x to the power of 4s. Okay? So if you're wondering, well, can we combine these together? Well, if you go back to our little cool rule over here, um, do they have the same base? Z and x? Uh, no, you can't, right? So that's why we, we just stop right there and we know that we have combined like terms and we can't do anything else. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me there. Let's move on down here. Uh, let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. I see a 3t and a negative 4t. If I combine those together, I have a negative 1t, right? 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Usually we don't write 1 just because in mathematics we're lazy, so we don't write the, the one, we just kind of make it um, the ghostly one, right? So it's like a little ghost right here. Uh, so it's negative 1t, okay? Um, and then we have right here 4r and negative 8r. Notice that I can combine these because they have the same base and the same exponent. You must always go back to that, by the way. If you're ever going to add, combine together, you got to have that together. So we have a total of um, 4 minus 8, so that is a... Well, let me erase that there. So we have a negative 4r. And of course, we can't combine those because they don't have the same base. Coming down here, in order to combine something with 5x squared z, I must find something else that has x squared z. x squared z, nope. x squared z, yes. Okay. This whole thing is considered our base, x, z. Okay, it has to be the exact same thing. X squared Z has to be the exact same thing. So since those are the same, I have five of them, and I have eight more. So I have 13 total X squared Zs right there. You see that? Eight plus five is 13. Um, and then I have a negative three X cubed Z cubed. 
and I have 12 x cubed z cubed. These must be exactly the same. I'm sorry if I'm sounding repetitious, but you just got to grain that in you. This must be exactly the same. Okay, Th this right here must be exactly the same if we're going to add together the negative 3 and the 12. Okay, they just have to be exactly. If they're not, then we cannot add them or subtract them. Now, when we multiply them in next chapter and all that, cool beans. Like, that's a whole different topic when we multiply. But I'm talking about combining, meaning when you add or subtract, you must, you must have the same variable and the exponent. Okay. So, uh, we can go ahead and combine, right? Negative 3 plus 12 is a um, plus uh, 9, right? 12 minus 3 is 9. X cubed Z squared. And there we go.